Okay, let's go ahead and match these graphs. For number one, for the first section of the motion, you have a positive slope, and that slope is not changing. The straight line tells me that the slope throughout this entire time um, is constant. So that means I have a positive velocity, and that positive velocity is constant, so I would draw a flat line, oops, sorry, a flat line to indicate that the velocity didn't change. Um, then there's going to be a jerk, some really you know quick change in the velocity and the acceleration, where suddenly I now have a negative slope on the position versus time graph, which means I have a negative velocity. Um, so I would mark some negative velocity, and if you can tell, the steepness of this line is actually a little bit steeper than the first line, even though it's going down, it still has more slope. So I would probably need to go further away from zero um, to mark my negative velocity, because I'm probably going a little bit faster in the opposite direction. Uh, I would put a flat line here, because I know that this straight line on the position versus time graph tells me that there is a constant uh, velocity, uh, because there is a constant slope throughout the entire time. Okay, so for both of these motions, there is no slope to the velocity, so that means there is no acceleration. So I'd put a line at zero for both. If I was going to describe this motion, I would say that first, the object is moving in the positive direction with a constant velocity, then they turn around and move in the negative direction with a little bit more speed, uh, and also constant velocity. Okay, so number two. Number two starts with a flat slope, which means I have zero velocity, uh, and then as it goes forward, the velocity, or sorry, the slope gets positive, so that tells me there would be some positive velocity later. Uh, and for all these problems, we're assuming if there's an acceleration, it's constant, so I would draw a straight line on the velocity versus time graph, because the slope of velocity versus time is acceleration, and a straight line tells me that there is a constant slope and therefore a constant acceleration. Okay, so then I go to my acceleration versus time graph. I have a positive slope for the velocity versus time graph, which means I would mark some positive acceleration, and there is a constant slope on this velocity versus time graph, so I would draw a flat line indicating a constant acceleration. Um, this motion you would describe by saying somebody is at rest, um, a couple of meters in front of zero, wherever that is. So they're at rest, and then they begin to speed up in the positive direction. So the velocity is increasing in the positive numbers, right? So it's speeding up to the right, or maybe to the east. Okay, for number three, you start with a positive velocity, and eventually you get to no slope. So you would start with a positive velocity and get to zero. Straight line. Um, and in this case, your slope on the velocity versus time graph is negative, which tells me that you have some negative acceleration. And I would draw a flat line because the slope on the velocity versus time graph is the same number. It's a, a constant slope. To describe this motion, you would say um, that something starts a few meters away from zero with a velocity to the right and slows down as they move to the right. So imagine you're moving to the right and you come to a stop. That's what this shows you. Okay, number four is two sections of movement. The first is you're not moving. So you would have a line at zero for the velocity and obviously no acceleration because that's not changing. Then suddenly you go from this zero slope to a negative slope. And slope on position versus time is velocity. So that means you go from a zero velocity to some negative velocity and you would consistently increase your velocity um, to the left, or the negative direction. The velocity is still, the number part is still getting bigger, so it's fair to say that you're increasing even though that line is going down. Um, and then here, you actually have a positive slope. So this tells you that the acceleration is positive. I'm sorry. Here you have a negative slope, and this tells you that the acceleration is negative. And you would draw a flat line there because the acceleration is constant. Okay, moving on. Oh, well, let's describe this motion. You stand still, 
Then you start to move to the left and you speed up. So even though that line is going down, it's moving away from zero. Zero represents no speed. Away from zero represents gaining speed. The negativity of these velocities just means that you are moving left. So you're speeding up to the left. Uh, okay, great. And also, the accelerations are negative and the velocities are negative. That's another way that you can tell that you're speeding up. Okay, number five. Two motions again. You start with no slope and go to a positive slope, which means you would start with no velocity and go to a positive velocity. Um, and then that slope stays the same. So your velocity will have a flat line because you are traveling at the same constant speed. Okay, so here I have a positive slope, which means I would have a positive constant acceleration. Um, but here I have a slope of zero, which would tell me that my acceleration is zero. If you describe this motion, you would say uh, you start at a position zero and you begin to speed up to the right, increase your speed in a positive direction. Then you move with a constant speed to the right. Okay, uh, number six. So for the first section of the motion, there is a positive slope and it is constant, so you would mark a positive velocity with a flat line indicating that that is a constant velocity. Then you go from that positive slope to zero. So I would go down to zero on my velocity versus time graph. For the first section, there's no slope, so that means you would have no acceleration. And on the second section, you have a negative slope, which means you would have a negative acceleration. Ooh. Okay, now this one's a little weird. Basically, here you have negative accelerations, but positive velocities. Um, so this means that you are slowing down in that second section of motion. So you would say, First, you move to the right with a constant speed. Then you keep moving to the right, but slow down to zero. All right, number seven. The first section of motion, uh, you have a constant negative slope. So that would mean a flat, constant negative velocity. Then that goes from a negative slope to an even more negative slope. So you would just draw this line, sorry, we draw this line getting more negative. Um, for the acceleration, at first there's no change in the velocity, so you'd have no acceleration. Then here you have a negative slope, which means you would have a negative acceleration. Um, describing this motion is interesting. First, you are moving to the left, right, or in the negative direction at a constant speed. And then here, you don't slow down. The velocity versus time graph, this line going down doesn't mean it slows down um, because the number part of the velocity would be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So what this means is that you're actually speeding up. You're speeding up to the left. And a way that you can tell that is because these are gonna be negative velocities and these are negative accelerations. So they're in the same direction and you're speeding up to the left or whatever the negative direction is. Okay, last one. Uh, so in this one, you have kind of like an S-curve. You start with no slope and then go to a positive slope, which means on your velocity versus time graph, you would have no velocity and then some positive velocity. Okay, then you go from that positive velocity to zero. So a line that looks like that. In the first section, you would have a constant positive acceleration. In the second section, a constant negative acceleration. Uh, this motion would be described as speeding up to the right, then slowing down while still moving right. Congratulations. I hope this was helpful.